What's up, everyone? Zach here, bringing you another Team Taste deck profile. You want to taste? Today, I'm bringing you Magnazone Duskmane Necrozma. Um, it was one of the decks I was most, most hyped for, and uh, I don't know. It's okay, but uh, <laughs> we'll get right on into it. So, starting off, we got our 303 Magnazone line. Now, this Magnemite gives free retreat if you have another Magnemite on the bench. Um, it's okay. But there's a new Magnemite coming out in the new set with an Ultra Prism with Bench Barrier where, where it can't get hit by any uh, damage from attack. So with Buzzwool being around, I would definitely be playing that one. Um, something like Volcanion's going to knock out this one or the Metal one. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, and the goal is just to get the turn two Magnezone. Uh, you can attach as many Metal Energies from your hand as you'd like per turn, so... It's pretty good. And to pair it, we got three Dustmane Necrozmas. Um, it's first attack for three colorless. It does 60, so eh, whatever. Um, for three metal and a colorless, you hit for 220, and you have to discard three energies. So discarding the three is not that bad. With Magnazone, you can get them right back on. And then it's GX attack for three metal, hits for 250, and you can only use it if you're behind on prizes. So if you're losing, you can use it, but it's... Pretty good GX attack. We have a couple different, op or one more different option for a GX attack in the deck. So, speaking of which, we got one Celesteel GX. Um, I find myself using this a lot more than the Dusk main right now. You, He has 10 more HP, and he has Rocket Press, uh, the 30 plus 30 for each retreat cost your opponent has. And then the... Uh, moon press for 130 for the four energies, but then it's GX attack for the four energies. It does hits 180 and you get flip your prizes over. So you actually get flip your prizes over and then take what you want and they stay flipped over. So it's a really good attack. And a lot of the times you don't want to be discarding your energy. So unless you're hitting for like two prizes, um, then we got Cobaline, really good quick guard for one energy. You can't be hit by basics the next turn. And then the Revenge Blast, 30 plus 30 for each prize card your opponent's taken. Um, it really adds up, and it's nice to put a Cobaline down, and with Mount Cornet, you can just attach two energies to it right away whenever you need it. And then we got the Sogaleo Prism Star. So for his first attack, for one metal, you can put a metal energy from your discard pile to any one of your Pokemon for, for each bench Pokemon or Pokemon in play that your opponent has. So if they have five Pokemon, you get five cards out of the discard. Late game, it's nice being able to be like, like or if they even target down your Magnezone, you can be like, well, I'm going to get ready for the rest of the game. <laughs> um, and then it's second attack for the four metal. It does 160 and it can't attack the next turn. So it's kind of just a nice desperation attack. And then we got one Oranguru for draw. It's nice plopping down on the bench. And two Leles. So pretty standard there. Um, kind of... I kind of went to try to build it like a Vika Bulu, but it has some major differences to where even if you get Magnezone out, you don't necessarily get to attack that turn. So that's kind of lame sometimes. Um, going on to the supporters, we got three Sycamore and three Cynthia and two N. So I'm still not sure where the draw count's going to lie with the N's, but two N seems to be good enough for now. The Cynthia, because we want to keep the rare candies and Magnezones if we miss it and have to Cynthia out of it. But, and Cynthia is just such a strong card. Anyone that played during Professor Oak's New Theory time will tell you that Cynthia is just really good. Then we got three Guzmas, two Skylas to help get out that Magnezone, and we do play Professor Letter so you can go find two energies if you need them. We got two Bridgets, still standard, and we got one Fisherman, so... A lot of times, late game, you can be able to like play a Fisherman, but if you throw it away early, it's really not the end of the game. So, it's just one of those things that's nice to hit every once in a while. Then, for items, we got four Ultra Ball and four Candy. So, this is the thing that I've been arguing with a lot of people about. Magnezone has two retreats, so we can't be playing Heavy Ball to try to get one out. So, the only search for Magnezone we have is Ultra Ball. So, I'm just trying to get that Magnezone out. Um, I don't want to be playing timer balls because that would be the only thing you'd be looking for with timer ball. So I went up to the fourth candy to try to really maximize getting that Magnezone out. Um, then we're playing three professor letters. I'm still not sure if they're necessary, but 
they're the only way I found that you can get a turn two like attack off with more than like two or three energy. So usually the turn I'm getting the Magnezone out, I'm not being able to attack because I'm having to either Cynthia into it or Skyla to find it and then get the draw supporter the next turn. But they've been pretty nice. You can also Professor Letter to help throw like to widen your hand to throw cards away with Ultra Ball. Um, then we got two float stones. Pretty simple. One rescue stretcher and one field blower. Um, if Garb is coming back strong, then maybe we need more field blowers. But right now, I'm not really that worried about it. And then for stadiums, we got three Mount Cronuts. Search your discard pile for two metal energies and put them into your hand. They really help out, um, especially with Dustmane Necrozma's attack discarding energy. Um, and speaking of energy, we got our 11 metal energy so we're still playing 11 energy with the professor letters um one of the other things we were thinking about doing was playing elixirs which we'd have to take the professor letters out maybe add another metal energy and then the other weird thing about the deck is it plays no choice band so that's usually fine with duskman necrozma since you're hitting for 220 but if you need to hit that 250 you would need a choice band um the other thing that makes it weird is the Ultra Prism attack, it only hits for 160. Um, Celesteel's GX attack hits for 180. So if you want to hit for 210, you need that choice band. And Cobalion, it kind of helps make the numbers better because you have to have, they have to take five prizes for you to hit 180 without a choice band. But it's a lot more common for them to be sitting at four prizes. So maybe one or two choice bands in here. I think for sure take out this for at least one choice band. Um,. But I'm not sure what else you'd do. You could go the route that some people are going and just take out all your field blowers if you're not afraid of guard, but I'm not really that confident. Um, like I said, one of the big issues of the deck is you can get the turn two Magnezone out most of the times, but you're not getting the turn two attack off. So if you get the turn two Magnezone, you're almost guaranteed the turn three attack. And after as long as you haven't gone behind like three prizes by then, you're usually fine. But if you miss the Magnemites turn one, then you're just sitting in a pretty awful spot because all your Pokemon are attacking for three, four energies. So um, probably could maybe optimize it more to get that going, maybe take away a Guzma. Um, I don't feel confident taking away the Skylas because a lot of times you just want that Magna zone out. And it's also one of those decks that if they focus down your Magna zone, you can just cry sometimes <laughs> um there's also been a lot of arguments like why would you play this over bulu and i'm not entirely sure yet but i think when this gets going it's more consistent but if you can get your magna zone out and attacking before they take like two prizes then you should be fine you can one hit the zorks you can one hit just about anything um the metal typing is really good against gardevoir but i think people are going to be afraid of, to play gardevoir anyways um, and it's not like it's been seeing that much success lately, but you get a one hit the Lycan Rocks, but Lycan Rock also has a ability to pull out your Magnezone and then you can just cry. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's about it. We're going to be smashing out some more games with it. Hopefully get it a little more optimized. Like I said, the new Magnemites are probably going to be the ones to play. They're going to be the ones that I'll be choosing to play. So Yep, everyone, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Later.